Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Yay, 2015 reviews, woohoo! This is the first review of 2015 and boy what a review it is. Today I'm going to be reviewing Royal Appleberry Soaps. That name is awesome by the way, I love it. Kinney is the nifty thrifty soap maker behind Royal Appleberry. She is a wonder and she sent me a long list of of fragrance descriptions and all sorts of good stuff. I initially found her soaps, I believe, in the study hall. Um, the first one I think I ever saw was the Dance of the Candy Canes. Wow, totally blown away. So I asked her in 2014 if she wanted to be a review, and lucky for me, she said yes. Here's a little bit about what she says for her company. She says, I began Royal Appleberry two years ago, but in the beginning I was only making melt and pour bath bomb cupcakes and other non-soap items. But one day after watching soap making videos on YouTube, I came across your channel, by your she means me, and I've been hooked ever since. You are a great inspiration to all, young and old. <laughs> <laughs> then she goes on to compliment me more than I deserve. And apparently I inspired her to start making soap. So yes, that is a feather in my hat. That is what royalty soaps is all about. So like all my other reviews, I'm going to show you each of the individual products first, kind of give you a little bit of a description of their colors and maybe the packaging. And then we're gonna move on to the performance of each bar and what each of them smells like. Okay, the first one that I have to show you is the Blueberry Patch Milk melt and pour soapsicle that Kenny's 16 year old daughter Hunter made. Hunter, you're amazing. I totally wanted to eat this. It looks so real, guys. It looks exactly like a popsicle. The melt and pour was not sweating when I got to it, which means that the wrapping was nice and tight and not letting any air in. It comes with a little ribbon and everything. Mm, I love it. Next is Dance of the Candy Canes, and oh my goodness, look at the cuteness. It kind of has um, a little bit of a greenish tint to the bottom of this and kind of a creamy top and then a red and cream swirl in the middle with little candy gems on top. Oh man, they're so cute. And pink and green and oh my gosh, I just love it. Now Princessa. Oh no, I switched the soaps. Princessa is actually pink and Flutterby Fields is actually the purple one. I got out of the shower and put them into the wrong packaging. Sorry about that, y'all. Which is white and purple and gold and kind of a lavender. And it looks like there was a mica line in there that she successfully broke up somehow. And then there is this really, really pretty mica swirl on top, totally fit for royalty. Now for Georgia Peaches, which is cream and this perfect, perfect peach color and sort of a very light lime. And it has a really pretty swirl on top with all sorts of different colors of glitter. It looks like there's some orange glitter. There's some, you know, rainbow sort of iridescent glitter on there. Now for Troublemaker. And is that not the cutest thing ever? Now the bottom of this is like the pink and white swirl and the top is like pink and blue. And this one she told me was a Troublemaker. It seized up on her really fast, so hence the name. And I actually like the top of this. This is like one of my favorite tops. And then there's Flutterby Fields, which is pink and cream and that same sort of green color. And then it has these like soapy amethyst stuck in the top. I love the name and I love the way this looks. I love the hanger swirl that she did in this. Assuming it was a hanger swirl. It was a hanger swirl ride. And last but certainly not least is the buttery pumpkin pie. Yum, yum, yum. It is like this caramel color and then this brown color and this kind of grayish brown color. All the pumpkin pie colors. And then this one also has a good bit of glitter on top and sort of a textured top there. Really pretty and also kind of the same shape as Troublemaker. It's very tall. And I have to note the little thank you baggie she sent. It says thank you on the crown. It has a little strawberry and a little apple. It's now all of her soaps are sort of wrapped the same way so I only filmed one of them. They have the ingredients on the back and the scent name on the back as well. And then it has her Royal Appleberry logo on the front, the weight of the bar, her information on the bottom, very, very well packaged. And then on the sides, there's a crown. They all came shrink wrapped and they had little smelly holes on them so that I could smell each of the fragrance out of the packaging. So let me go ahead and tell you about the fragrance and the performance of each bar. So let's start with Dance with the Candy Canes. This is delicious. It smells like, 
like candy canes. It really does. It smells like this sweet, there's like some other candy fragrance in there too. It's like not just pepperminty. There's like some other, it reminds me of Skittles. I pouted and pouted over breaking that candy cane, let me tell you, because it's so cute. So this is like really, really moisturizing. This is not the hardest bar I've ever used, but it was so moisturizing and I kept it out of the water. You know, if you keep handmade soaps out of the water, like on the shelf, they last a whole lot longer. So though this wasn't the hardest bar I've ever used, it's certainly among the more moisturizing ones. Princessa is like a blend of like cilantro, lime, and lily. It smells really nice. It smells like a baby shampoo. I love baby shampoos, so that's like perfect. It's so, so clean and pretty and calming. And this bar, again, is also a little bit soft, but again, so, so moisturizing. This one also has Tessa Silk in it. I think most of them have Tessa Silk in it. So super, super luxuriant. So, so pretty and huge. I mean, Look at my hand. And I have man hands, y'all. Now, Troublemaker is hard as a rock. I mean, hard as a rock. That's probably because it seized up on her so bad. And this is so potent. So she says that this is scented with apple mango tango type and a perfume dupe called Lover Dose by Diesel. I've never heard of either of those two, but they smell fantastic. Oh my goodness. This is my favorite bar that she sent me. Like, I know it's the troublemaker and everything, but what with the design? I love the marbly looking design, the two different colors. I love the glitter on top. I think the top is very appealing. The smell is great. It's rock hard and it's conditioned. What more could you want? Now for the Georgia peach. I'm sure some people from Georgia are going to be very offended at that accent. I tried to do y'all justice. This is one of the lighter fragrances. It totally smells like a peach. Don't get me wrong. It is like peach, peach, but it's also calmer. So definitely good for somebody who doesn't like that overly like potent fragrance in a soap. This is perfect. This one bubbled up like nuts. Like nuts. I mean, just bubblesy, bubblesy, bubblesy. And I used this one to wash my little sisters in the tub the other day, and they loved it and thought it was so, so pretty and smelled great. So this is definitely a good bar of soap. Also really big, almost like the entire length of my hand. Boop, 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 boop. Flutter by Fields. That sounds like it should be a song, you know, like I was walking down the river through the flutter by fields. So this smells also really calming, um, definitely sort of a floral. Smells delightful. This is also one of the gentler fragrances, so definitely a must for people who don't like the overwhelming smells. Hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. This one's hard as a rock. A plus. Buttery pumpkin pie. Woo! This is from her holiday collection. It smells like food. It smells like food. Um, very powerful cinnamon smells. I love cinnamon in soap. I know that's normally like normally a candle thing and stuff, but I love bathing with it. It's scrumptious. So also really, really, really hard. This is definitely one of the harder ones. Also one of the more petite ones. This was also super, super conditioning. So highly recommend. And of course the soap sickle, which makes me feel like a little kid. It's so cute. I mean, honestly, I just want to lick it. This doesn't smell exactly like blueberries to me, but it totally smells like some fruit basket of goodness. It's delicious. So if you like fruity fragrances, this is definitely something you want to get. I want one of these in like every single fragrance they come in. And then I want to fool all my friends, like, you know, take it out of the freezer and be like, here, this is for you. Actually, that would be very mean. Maybe not. So fabulous job, Hunter. I'm totally impressed with your skills. Keep working at it. Keep going. You should be like a famous soapy popsicle maker by the time you're 20. So final thoughts and conclusion. Royal Appleberry, man, you knocked it out of the park. For the very first review of the year, this is hard to beat, y'all. This is really hard to beat. Oh, and I forgot. The last part of her letter says, the queen can have her first grab of whichever she likes best. Sorry, Duchess. 
Oh well, Mum will be extremely happy with that. And here's another really cool thing. <gasps> Royal Appleberry is offering the Royal Court a discount code. Yay! So if you will just enter the code Royal Apples, you will receive 15% off your entire purchase in her Etsy shop. So go look for Royal Appleberry on Etsy, go look at her Facebook page, go look at her YouTube. Yes, she has a YouTube channel. Tell her hello, tell her the Duchess of Suds sent you, and go get you some of her good stuff. I hope you all enjoyed the review. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and maybe even leave me a comment below. Maybe leave Royal Appleberry a comment below. And I will see you all next time, so until then, bye for now.